patients with impaired function of arms and hands that affect their use in daily activities have to train intensively to at least partially regain their functional skills. The Armeo supports this training by providing repetitive, highly motivating movement exercises. We assume that especially after sudden impairment, the brain's neuroplasticity is pronounced during the first weeks to months after impairment, and in this phase the brain is highly capable of adapting to the new situation. The Armeo spring mechanism provides gravity compensation for the impaired arm. The therapist sets the 3D workspace of the individual patient and chooses the exercise's difficulty level. The Armeo provides a real-time visual display of arm movement, so the patients get immediate feedback about their movement ability. The Armeo can be used in stroke and TBI patients, and possibly in the future even in patients suffering from muscular diseases or other neurological disorders of the peripherence. Another patient was so enthusiastic about the Armeo that he told me to ask for Armeo therapy the next time I went to a rehabilitation center. I always thought my arm couldn't do anything, but it was wrong. The Armeo gave me back some feeling for the paralyzed arm. I started to trust my arm again, because you usually forget about your paralyzed arm and do everything with a healthy one. The Armeo offers many different exercises, simulating activities of daily life and exciting computer games, so it provides adequate therapy for each patient. Besides the motivating and repetitive nature of the exercises, the Armeo features another important component for successful therapy – self-initiation of movement. So self-initiation is important because we've, we have studies that show if the patient is passive, is not trying, then the brain plasticity is reduced. So somehow the act of willing and engaging and trying to activate the descending pathways, that seems essential to stimulate the brain plasticity. With the prototype of the Armeo, Professor Rankensmeyer could show that both conventional as well as Armeo therapy improved the patient's movement ability, but that patients with Armeo therapy seem to hold this effect longer. We're not sure why that is, but it could be that with the T-Rex uh, Armeo approach, the patient does much more repetitive uh, practice. Sensors measure all joint angles and the patient's grip force. The computer uses this data to provide visual movement feedback and to track the therapy process. Columns in this diagram, for example, show that the patients catch more and more drops each therapy session while needing less and less time, shown by the orange line. The patient wants to know, am I getting better? And they want to see you know, the effects, is this hard work I'm putting in, is it leading to any improvements that I can detect? And those improvements might be very subtle, but a device like Armeo can perhaps detect the subtle improvements and that can be encouraging feedback to the patient that, hey, what I am doing is making a difference. The therapist can really track that recovery and see where in the, in the recovery process the patient is. The, the patients accepted the technology very well, but people would come back and tell us, oh, now I can hold down my checkbook when I write a check or now I can hold a grocery bag when I couldn't hold it before, or now I can use my impaired arm to open a door. So we, we saw um, an increase in sort of the way that the person could use their arm for functional activities. The Armeo doesn't replace conventional therapy, but adds repetitive, motivating exercises. After an initial time of adaptation, patients can even train without being constantly looked after by the therapist. The mobility of my arm from shoulder to hand has improved and gripping has become easier. That is what I notice as a patient. The outcome improved significantly. We increased the difficulty level more and more and you could see how he benefited. Patients start using their impaired arms again, start experimenting and trying new things. 
The Armeo is a great addition to conventional therapy because of its repetitive character. At the beginning, Mr. Kalb couldn't move his impaired arm at all and neither used the muscles of the shoulder nor of his hand and fingers. He improved in a quite short period of time. The mobility of the shoulder has increased and he regains some of his strength. A lot of this improvement I ascribe to the Armeo therapy. The Armeo supports functional therapy in neuromuscular dysfunction of the upper extremity. By providing gravity compensation of the impaired arm, it allows patients to use residual neuromuscular control, enabling repetitive, highly motivating training. The patients enjoy the game-like exercises and receive immediate feedback that displays even slight progress. An encouraging, innovative therapy solution.